Hey guys, we're going to take a look at the DeWalt DW065E laser distance measure. It's got a 65 foot range and a plus or minus 1 8 inch accuracy. So one of the best uses I've found for laser distance measure is doing trim or crown molding in a room. Because uh, I usually work by myself, uh, so there's no one to hold the other end of the tape for me, which makes it a lot harder if you're trying to pull tape across the ceiling. With the floor, it's a little bit easier, um, but I don't know about you, but houses I've worked on, uh, mine and some of my friends, the floor and the ceiling measurements aren't always the same distance. Uh, they can be off by uh, like, you know, an eighth to a quarter of an inch or possibly more than that. Uh, and it can leave gaps in your crown molding uh, or your floor, depending on where you're at. So taking measurements here is as simple as that. I've got my measurement right up at the ceiling where the crown molding is going to be. Uh, no guesswork, really fast. Saves so much time. One of the nice things about this unit is it's got the ability to do just distance, uh, and this is set in feet and inches right now, or it can do area or volume. So you just hit the units button once and it goes to square feet, you hit it again, it goes to cubic feet. Uh, if you're in meters, it'll use meters, uh, but if you're in inches, it'll go default to feet. Uh, won't do cubic inches because really uh, you'll get huge numbers uh, that you're not really going to be using. Uh, a laser distance measure to measure for. Uh, so if I wanted to measure the area on the wall, uh, if I wanted to paint this room, uh, I can go ahead and do all the walls like this in square feet just by going and measuring the length of the wall and the height from floor to ceiling. So you can see I've got 10 feet, 10 inches and 3 quarters, and then 7 feet, 11 and 3 sixteenths of an inch for a total of 87.02 cubic or square feet. Uh, this is also very useful if you're doing uh, flooring. If you wanted to estimate how much flooring you need, you just take your floor measurements, then add at least 10% to all of that, uh, and you've got the uh, square footage of flooring you need to buy. All right, so as far as uh, sunlight operation, uh, this isn't really suited for it. I've got full sun up here. There's no cloud cover. And then down here is shade. I'll go ahead and see. You can, you can see the, the laser dot right here. And we move it on up to the sunlight. And you can barely make it out. It's a little bit more visible in, in first, you know, in, in real life, not on camera. Uh, but you're not going to be able to find that from a distance of much more than a few feet. As far as the display goes uh, for readability and full sunlight, the, uh, the LCD is a lot easier to read um, than the uh, display of the DeWalt here, um, which I can just barely make it out um, in full sunlight. I don't know if the camera is really making that out, uh, but I can see the inches, the fractions are a little bit harder to read. Um, so the LCD screen is easy to read in full sunlight, however, you're primarily going to be using these indoors, um, so in that case, uh, the DeWalt is actually a lot better for low light conditions uh, because of the way it lights up. I've got one of the longest runs of my house set up and you can see there's the card at the end. Uh, it's got a magnetic tape attached to a piece of steel on the other side. So my dog is deathly afraid of tape measures for some reason. Um, so here we go. Got the measure set up. And I will make sure it is dead even with that uh, 35 foot mark on this tape measure. And there we are, dead on 35 feet on that card uh, you saw at the end of the, the run there. So I've taken this a couple times and I've gotten 35, sometimes 35 and a 16th, but it's always right on. Uh, so I'm going to test some more spots along this run uh, and see if I get consistent results. This on, you just hit the distance button uh, and it pops up, and you see you've got spots for four measurements. This will save the last four measurements you take. Uh, it has a battery gauge up here, and it's got a reminder to reference off the back end of the distance measurer. Uh, don't, me don't reference off the front end, or it'll be the length of the distance measurer off. Um, so, to take your measurement, it's got its laser on right now. It does not have continuous mode, you'll notice. Um, you just hit the button. Well, yeah, there it does its thing. One thing to note is if you want continuous mode, you've got to hold down this button for two seconds. And then it will start giving you updates based on, on how far it is away from the surface you're measuring. However, as soon as you take a measurement, 
it kicks you back out of that mode. And if you go to take another measurement, you can see it's not updating again. You've got to hold this down again all over. I really don't like that feature about it. I'd rather have this in continuous measurement mode all the time. I know it's probably going to use more battery that way, um, but it's the default measurement for other laser distance measures I've used. And if you're trying to shoot something that's really far away, sometimes hitting this button to take that measurement can throw off where you're aimed at. So I like having a continuous, continuous measurement mode uh, so I know I'm getting the spot that I want when I'm looking at it and I don't have to hit the button to see what distance I'm at. And, and really the saving feature this has is square feet uh, for area or if you hit it again it'll go to cubic feet um, for volume. And so the way this works is you, you take each measurement, you get your length, width, or height, and whatever. Um, so you, you see it'll give me each measurement I just took and then it'll give me those three multiplied together in cubic feet. Um, and then these measurements are still in inches and if you want to change your units, uh, if you hold down the unit button, it'll give you meters accurate to the uh, millimeter um, or precise to the millimeter uh, and then it'll give you uh, feet in inches here uh, with a precision to the sixteenth. And then if you hold it down again, it'll give you decimal feet to the hundredth. If you hold it down again, you're back to just inches uh, with accuracy to the sixteenth. As far as accuracy goes, um, the DeWalt specification for this is plus or minus one eighth of an inch, anywhere um, from six or seven inches all the way out to 65 feet. But I tested this with a 35 foot tape measure and it was dead on accurate um, all the way from 35 feet down to two feet plus or minus one sixteenth of an inch. Um, when I got under two feet though, this thing was off by anywhere from three sixteenths of an inch to a quarter of an inch um, in the range of six or seven inches to two feet. So it is junk uh, for close distance measurements. Um, other ones I've had this one is accurate down to, I think, seven inches, uh, and that's plus or minus a sixteenth of an inch accuracy. So the, the real saving feature of this one is area. Um, otherwise, I, I really don't like this one that much. All right, so this thing works pretty well if you're just doing area calculations, uh, if you're doing quick measurements here and there. Um, I don't really like that you have to go through extra hoops to get continuous measurement out of it. Um, and I don't like that you have to cycle back through to get to area measurement every time you take one. Uh, I'd rather you put it in area mode and it stays in area mode. So um, it is good for indoor conditions with the type of screen it has, the inverse display uh, with the letters lit up. You can read it in complete darkness. Uh, that's a big plus over an LCD screen uh, unless you have a backlight on the LCD and then that's kind of a moot point. All right, price point. This thing is 50 bucks. Uh, there are quite a few other manufacturers out there that have a laser distance measurer in the $50 price range, and I think they're all about 65 feet in range. Um, the one that, thing that sets this apart is that it can do area and volume calculations uh, at the $50 price point. Most of them that have that feature are a lot higher in price. So if you're doing a lot of HVAC work and you wanna size volumes of houses, or if you do painting or flooring, uh, those are good applications for this. Uh, otherwise, if you're just looking for distance, I'd go with a different tool that uh, is a little bit more user-friendly for just distance measuring. Uh, one that has a continuous mode on that you don't have to jump through hoops to get to. Plus, one that has a little bit more accuracy than in the sub two foot range, uh, because this one does not do well in close quarters. So hopefully this review is helpful. Let me know if you have any questions in the comments section below. And once again, don't forget to subscribe.